Okay. I know what you're thinking. All right? And yes. I have lost my mind. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been like a week and a half since I uploaded. I'm, I'm fucking sorry. This, you should, it should be fucking powerful, of course, my channel at this point. Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. It's me. It's Cordata, the world's most inconsistent uploader of content. <laughs> Uh, I do apologize. I recently started a new job and I just haven't had time to work on anything. Uh, and like most of my downtime has been spent running a Div 2 campaign with my friends. Uh, let me know if you want to see some shit from that because we're doing really dumb stuff over fucking in that game. Christ. Uh, but yeah, we're back with another video and uh, this week really is something fucking incredibly stupid. We're playing some Volundrung Rage. <laughs> so yeah, we're playing Volundrung today. Uh, the entire reason I decided to build this list was because I ended up unpacking a fucking premium Volundrung. And at that point, you're kind of obligated to play it, so I built this list on the at the behest of my Discord, who uh, who wanted for some reason, for some ungodly, unholy reason, wanted to see support Rage Crusader. So, uh, I mean, I'm 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 gonna do it, like. <laughs> so, hey, if you're wondering why this deck is completely incoherent, looks completely batshit insane, that's why. It's because it, it came at the request of my Discord, and only bad things happen from that. So yeah, we are basically a control crusader, or like a mid, a mid rangey control crusader. The deck's playstyle is all over the place, just on the back of having forward camp. Forward camp is one of those really weird cards that it it supports a long grindy game, but also kind of incentivizes you to like to do a little bit of early aggression, just to break the rune to make sure your character is actually online later on. So what tends to happen is we tend to play kind of aggressively for the first like three or four turns and then transition to a late game control deck, blowing shit up with javelins, bouncing stuff with giants, just developing huge threats, trying to stick something, then slamming a volundrung and and hoping that it doesn't get destroyed or that we survive. <laughs> so yeah, the list is kind of kind of all over the place. Like I said, we are, we're not even running that many uh, supports, like, realistically, we're running the three forward camp, two elixir vitality, we're running three copies of strategist map, and we'll talk about this one, uh, as well as the Volundrung itself. Uh, there's one, am I missing one? No, that's sick, yeah, that's, that's, that's nine. <laughs> yeah, we're only, we're only running nine support, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm all over, I'm really fucking tired, so I really do apologize if this video is all over the place. By the way, haven't recorded the gameplay yet, so I have no idea how badly I'm going to be misplaying. I, I kind of, I, I wanted to call attention to Stratus' map specifically, just because the card synergizes so ridiculously well with the rest of the deck, and while I have been winning games, uh, like quite a few games of this deck, I'm, I'm not sure if that's down to like cards like Stratus' map actually being slept on good cards, or if it's just the fact that I'm ascending to a new fucking... To a new tier of just card game godliness. I can't tell anymore. It's honestly, maybe I'm just getting better. Maybe the fucking meta game is getting worse. Maybe the card's good. Who fucking knows? We're we're just we're just fucking blowing people up with rage at this point. But yeah, strat map is incredibly good, especially alongside things like brute profiteer. Uh, and your Cauldron Keeper allows you to gain two health each turn while generating guards. Uh, super helpful versus aggro. This deck actually has a surprisingly strong aggro matchup. Uh, Ten prophecies, not that high, but it's still high enough that it kind of matters versus aggro. We're running things, we're in defensive prophecies like Protector of the Innocent. We are obviously running three initiate, two illusionists, just because we're playing two execute. And uh, this this combo is just solid against most things. Helps generate a bit of tempo in the mid game if you really need it. If you're trying to be the more proactive deck in certain matchups. Uh, while also being a really good fallback tool in uh, in late game control, ma uh, yeah, in late game control matches, two cradle crush because we're trying to be a little bit of a mid range control deck. Cradle crush is an actual fit, it's a fantastic card, one of the best cards in the game if I'm honest. Uh, two belligerent giant just because we're not running that much uh, hard removal really, uh, and belligerent is a really really solid option as well as a good rage target. Two rage, uh, we're not. We because we're running Dawn's Wrath as well. We don't want to be max. We don't want to be maxing out in rage just because these tend to clog up our hands in the early game. We want to mitigate clogging, so only running two rage is pretty much fine. Two village or uh, two vigilant giant Volundrung and the red ear is a big old as a, as a big old panic button. So yeah, that's the list. This is entirely just a meme deck built to satisfy my Discord. Do not play this. It is not a good list. Is is this is not a good deck. Let's just be let's be abundantly clear. This is not a good deck. This was entirely built to uh, to appease Discord and did nothing else. <laughs> so yeah, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, and uh, onto some games. Carrying a teeth on Mage, probably invade Mage, if I had to guess.
It is probably Invade Mage. I, f I think I full keep this against any mid range or invade deck. I think this is a fine hand. There's a plan. There's always a plan. When Lord Dagon yep. comes, I will need a hand. It's invade. And nobody was surprised. I'm gonna try and tempo a little bit here. Get, get away. <laughs> when Lord Dagon comes, I won't need to hide any longer. I'll try to draw their fire. Oh. I'm gonna see an invasion party here, which is unfortunate because I can't kill it until next turn. Because Javelin. Oh wow. Okay, that's fine. Eta Ori. Don't really need much more health gain. Hardly a challenge. I will cycle, I think, here. How much do I care? It depends on how much you invest into the gate this turn. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we just jab it then. Breakthrough, yeah, whatever. We got another one drop? Nope. Behold my Watch yourself, man. Never didn't have it. I will put them back. That's a lot of that's a lot of four power. They just have to have all the removal in the world. God, I fucking hate Invade. It's just the burning fucking hatred I have for this fucking stupid deck. Here we go with the close calls. Why are people doing this? I don't understand this. There's Rage and I'm gonna turn off casting. There's Giant that I'm gonna turn off casting. I don't understand why people are playing close call for these Valkanaz mages. I really don't get it. I'm just gonna belligerent the gate. Yeah, sure. Here Rain gets close call. How likely is my giant to stick here? Probably 0%, right? Probably 0%. Let's call him Keeper. Let's call a Ren. Replay a Ren. Get the close call again, I dare you. Oh, shame. Twenty-one. You can go to fourteen. I break two runes doing that. How much damage is this? Five and five is ten. Ten and two is twelve. Twelve and three, fifteen. So I have lethal. If I if this doesn't prophecy, kill it. I have lethal. 
Jav? Okay, we're fine. As soon as I saw the prophecy, I just, I, it just, it just rang javelin. <laughs> nice. Oh God. <laughs> Why is it whenever I decide to record, I get just the worst matchups in the fucking world? All right, we got tribunal. <laughs> Uh, Tribunal's a bit of a, a bit of a scary one. If it's mid-range, we're kind of screwed. If it's control, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> if it's the mythical Agro Telvanni, or Agro Tribunal, we might be okay. Oh god, the problem is, right, that they have Negation, they're gonna have Shadowfin Priest, they're gonna have Edicts of Azura. <laughs> None of our shit is sticking this game. Uh, I could ring Rift Thane, but again, that gets that gets munched by uh, by negation because they always have it. Uh, so I'm gonna hold my ring charges, I think, for the first couple of turns here. I will push them Potentially, down. I might be able to curve out with this Earthbound Spinner or Crusader's Assault. By the fires of oblivion. That is not ideal. That is not ideal. I think I do spin that. I kind of have to spin that. The problem with this is it leaves me open to just him dropping a high defender, but then my Rift Ten also dies for free regardless. So I do have to, I do have to spin this. The forest will not suffer your I wish I didn't, but I have to. On the bright side, we might get our um, our four camps online early enough, but we're probably gonna get stomped by a high defender. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's interesting. Ravenous Hunger, sure. To oblivion with you. Don't hit the Prophecy, sure. I'm just gonna pass. Because I'm like committing resources. Hope he didn't hit my volume drum. There's a Harpy. Sure. I'm just gonna ring out a ca uh, Cradle Crush here. I mean, he takes his trade pretty much every time. If he wants to like, kill this Wardcrafter here, go here, that's fine. I just get the Cradle Crush a second time. There's the Bolt, sure. And I have zero follow ups, so we just keep passing. Let none defile our temple. Night of the Hour, that's a card I'm not seeing in a, in a hot minute. Here's Strat Map. Do I play the strat map? I mean, strat map potentially eats an edict because I mean, if you look at if you see strategist map in a deck and and you 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 know it's not going to be used for anything other than degenerate nonsense, so it's probably going to eat an edict. So we're gonna we're just gonna jam it out. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> I shall end their blasphemy. Just profiteer, tell boss magister. That's fine. I got to jab that. I'm gonna split the lanes a little bit like this. Now, strat map is actually interesting because I could technically have played it field lane, crusader assaulted over the uh, zero one to uh, to keep my three two. But the odds of uh, the profiteer surviving were super low. That's fine. I'm going to actually play douchenik y'all ping face and then assault over the uh, the knight here. I think this is my turn. We must protect our stronghold. I don't want to burn the charge on the map here, so I'm just gonna straight hit over here. Double elixir. So if we do find the forward camp, we are drawing cards. Which is super, super important. Also, I have a fully charged column creeper here. If I choose to take it. Of oblivion. The nine inspire us. Kevin Hart Oracle. Cool. 
Ebonheart Oracle is a little bit of a problem. I could Earthbone spin it. Hmm, this is awkward. I w I'm actually... This looks really stupid. I'm gonna spin it. And I will spend the Cradle Crush here just to potentially eat the damage. It's a really awkward resource game that I think Tribunal is going to win pretty much every time. What split card is that? That's hardly Manic Jack, is it? I do hope that oh, Raven and Terrybar. Cards I wasn't expecting to see. Unfortunately, he's got another fucking face board, which means I can't draw multiple cards off this assault here. Hmm. That's annoying. God, that face ward is really annoying. There's nothing I can do about it either. I'll take my draw of one, I guess. Silent. Yeah, I have no way of popping the, the face ward. There's the camp. Get down Cauldron Keeper here. I will pop two uses on these elixirs just because more than likely my support's getting removed from now on, just because he knows I'm playing forward camp. That's fine. There's Tavar. Speak, citizen. Yeah, the volume drone never sticks this matchup is the problem. There's Edict. On the Saint. There's a plan. There's always a plan. Yeah, it's just a really awkward resource game, and like I said, I don't think we're equipped to beat Tribunal in a drawn-out resource game. You're so sweet. I can just eat you up. We're relying entirely on hitting a ridiculously big rage. You won't foil my plan. I'm gonna try to keep pressure on board. Of all the matchups we could have got, like, immediately. I smell the stench of the living. Yeah, it'd have to be fucking Control Tribunal. There's another forward camp. We can draw it under two. There's Cauldron Keeper. See, the interesting thing is we actually have one ring charge left. So I can technically play Cauldron Keeper and Rage in the same turn, or I can play Cauldron Keeper Volundrung in the same turn. I'm likely going to have to play Cauldron Keeper Rage in the same turn, though. The problem is I'm never going to stick a breakthrough creature. And that really is a problem. Cast into time. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. Mage's trick, okay. Second rage, god, this is awkward. Oh, 
I'm drawing all of my anti uh I'm drawing all my anti aggro and control tools against a deck where I just really don't need them. Okay, so I'm stop sure. And he's under no obligation to uh to really commit anything here. Oh god. If I play the Volundrung, it just gets blown up. We'll see if this uh, giant eats an edict. If the giant eats an edict, I'm probably greenlit to Okay. I'm going to attempt to set a Volundrung, I think this turn. Oh, if Volendrong sticks, we're in such a good spot. Cross fingers, hopefully it sticks. Might get Shadow Fend. Out of my way, worm. Hang on. How much damage is this? Ah, third edict, you bastard! Oh, that is annoying. Ah, oh, the third edict, are you kidding me? Ah. Oh. Because I think I potentially had lethal there with Cauldron Keeper. If I played Cauldron Keeper plus 8, that would have been 11. Uh, plus two one health guys. Yeah, that was lethal. Oh, I had lethal and he had the third edict. Oh, you hate to see it. That's the worst thing in the world, man. Uh, that's only actions. The next preparation has been made. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That was lethal. He just needed to not have the third edict. God damn. Your blood will spill. I shall end the blasphemy. That's so unfortunate. That is like, this is the single worst matchup I probably could have gotten, aside from maybe Redoran. Another map. I mean, we haven't seen, we haven't even seen Javelin yet, so. Hmm. That's a big old rip. Yeah, because the giants are never sticking now, either. Your blood will spill. I shall end their blasphemy. Third map. Watch yourself now. Warcrafter. All right, let's see what we do. All right, he has a handful of removal now. Yeah, there's reverb. By the fires of oblivion. Perhaps we can help one another. Another Telvas. A little bit annoying, but yeah, that's fine. Drawing a bunch of cloud rests here. That third edict really just fucked me. That's such a shame. I don't think we can realistically win from here. Your 
We've like no cheap break to creatures. We know he's on reverberating strike, so I can't really spam too much shit into the board. Will not save you. There's the Gleave. Fireball Tread. There's Belligerent. Uh, this gets Dawn's Wrath, though, for sure. We've only seen one Dawn's Wrath. I mean, he has to kill this giant, and he will. Being the issue. Still on my red ear. And a rift there. If anything, it shows he's running low on removal. I will put a thing in front of it because it means I don't die to just Encano. He needs more than Encano to kill me here. There's a nice storm. I smell the stench of the living. Oh, just give me a big boy, come on. Oh, I need to draw a way to kill him before he draws more removal. Now I believe it might just be enough to seal it though. Has he got the bolter the Encano as well? At the ready. He doesn't. Well, that's no good to me right now. Oh, there's Vigilant. Nicely done. Oh, there's Vigilant. Oh, this is so awkward. I can Dawn's Wrath. This go this looks really weird. But I kind of have to do this. What a pity. We'll see how they like someone who fights back. Nicely done. If he has removal, he has the removal. We just kind of lose on this spot regardless. Nice try. Care to go again? Scheme off the top. Casting the time off the top. That third edict. Yeah, go fuck yourself with your fucking spamming emotes. Third edict. Ah, oh, I took three edicts. What a shame. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bit of a bit of a weird one today. Uh, strange deck, even stranger games. Fucking tribunal control, man. Uh, just really unfortunate they had the third javelin, or not the third javelin, the third edict. That was the one card that uh, that screwed me over. And we had lethal only for it. So yeah, that's a shame. Uh, also, I've jigged. I've probably changed the order of the games, putting the, like the uh, the invade game first, and then the uh, tribunal game second. For those of you who are watching the video, yes, they were played in opposite order. <laughs> That's why I sound a little bit kind of tired in the second one, or not in the second one, in the first one, in the the first match. It's because I rejigged the order because uh, engagement, and that's that's how YouTube works. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is just a bit of a meme, a bit of a silly video. Or a silly deck, rather. 
And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. It's really, really stupid. So yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.